first with 44. And just behind them in the overall World Cup count with 43 career victories are these Germans, Tony Egert and Sasha Benekin, the defending World Cup and world champions. One is an airplane pilot, the other is an avid musician and guitar player, and they are, on balance, the best doubles team in the world over the past five seasons. They just tied the best speed, too, so this could be some challengers. Those sick brothers have been living down there in that leader's box since the, you know, the second sled off the track. This is red to green. In, in the, into the red now. This is for the first podium spot of the day, just five thousandths of a second. Back. Ooh, they're in trouble. What happened? Exit of 10 into 11. It looks like they try to cheat. They're back on the sled. They will finish, but ooh, now there's some bumps and bruises. Let's see them get up around the curve. They're, they finished, of course, way off. But uh, Tim, looks like they, you know, it was five thousandths out of the lead on the exit of 10. Here, look at that, they came out too early. It's been really the one. 11, exit of 11. That's what got them. So it looks like they got into 11 too late. Boy, you don't expect that out of a team with this much experience. No, it's been really one of the only negative marks this weekend for Germany, this great world championship team. But uh, I've been look told. At, look at the athletes, look at the respect. I mean, nobody wants to see this. Uh, such a family here and in this sport. I, I've been told, John, from some of the athletes we were watching yesterday that, that Tony and Sasha just don't look that comfortable yet. Keep in mind, Sasha's been battling with a neck injury, and that's not an easy thing to just hop back on that sled. Both of them tested positive for COVID during the summer. They quickly recovered, which was great news. But you gotta wonder what a, you know how that affected you emotionally. Well. He had a neck issue before. He's going to have one now. They're going to be in a hot tub someplace because there's a lot of black and blues associated with.